Hello and welcome to Thorogood's presentation on introducing SQL Server 2016 Polybase, native integration with Hadoop and Azure Storage. My name is Austin Fierro and I'm a business intelligence and analytics consultant with Thorogood. So let's get started. With growing data volumes facing businesses, it is imperative that they leverage all the data at their disposal in order to make the best data-driven decisions possible. Now in the past, a large majority of businesses relied on SQL Server or relational data to make these decisions, but with the emergence of connected devices in the Internet of Things, along with large influxes of semi-structured data, there is a wealth of new information available that's being stored in things such as Hadoop, HDFS, CloudArray, HD Insight, and Microsoft Azure Blob Storage or Data Lake Stores. Now I want to mention that Polybase is available natively with SQL Server 2016, so there are no extra purchases needed. Now, as we can see on the diagram, Polybase acts as the bridge between SQL Server 2016 and the storage frameworks like Hadoop and Azure Blob Storage. It allows the user to use the T-SQL language, which they are familiar with, to query data that is in both relational format in SQL Server and semi-structured format like it would be in Hadoop. I should note that you still are able to use the same BI tools that you're used to and connect these two separate pieces of data seamlessly and easily. Now, if you watch the other video in the email, you will have the technical knowledge that Polybase offers. For this video, we'll be exploring the more business aspects of Polybase. The first use case is loading data. You can use Hadoop or Azure Blob Storage as a loading point for items such as sensor data or any other large data sets or files. You can then load large amounts of this data into SQL Server at a single time to run multiple processes over the data without worrying about network issues or latencies. Again, I want to point out that you can still use the same BI tools and technologies that you were used to. So for example, let's take a large insurance company. Their data is extremely large in volume based on the millions of customers that they have. If they have Hadoop or Azure Blob, running a separate ETL or import tool may hinder efficiencies. With Polybase, they can now leverage the speed of Microsoft SQL's column store technology and analysis capabilities by importing the data from Hadoop or Azure Blob storage into their relational databases. Now another case is aging out of cold data. Because storage costs are a premium within SQL Server instances, you can age out cold data to HDFS or an Azure Blob Storage at a cheaper cost, and you can always load the data back in or even interactively query the data if you need to refer back to it. For example, let's take an international CPG company. The amount of data this company accumulates is tremendous. Now instead of deleting the cold data for sales because they don't want to incur a high storage cost, they can now export this data from their SQL database to a Hadoop or an Azure blob at a much more cost-efficient storage price, while still having the ability to query this data if need be. Lastly, users can interactively query data. What this means is that you have the ability to periodically query data by reaching out into Hadoop or Azure blob storage. This allows users the ability to join relational data with semi-structured data on the fly to gain more useful insights into the data, thus driving better decision making. Today's demonstration will show you how this is done. But before we jump into the demo, there are a few key points I want to touch on. Setting up Polybase in your organization is extremely straightforward. As I mentioned, it comes native with SQL Server 2016. And there are three main things that I would like to address. The first is setting up your external data source. This is the source which we would like to connect to. Will the connection be a Hadoop cluster or is it an Azure blob storage? This is done once per Hadoop cluster or blob storage. So here we call this external data source Polybase Demo. We give it a type and location, which is the location of the Azure Blob container, for instance. Next, we'll create an external file format. This allows Polybase to decode the data as it is being pulled on. Each file format will only be created once. In this example, we name the format as CSV and a format type of delimited text, which here is comma delimited. Lastly, we'll create an external table, which is very similar to the way a regular table is created in a relational database, with just a few more lines of code depicting where it will be pulled from. So here, we name the external table in columns, and all we have to do extra is define the file path location and the data source and file format. Now for today's demonstration on interactive queries, I'll be playing the role of a business user for a retail company operating in China. In my relational database, we have the basic geographic data pertaining to the customers of the main product that we sell. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So now that we're in Management Studios, let's go ahead and run this select statement based on our relational database table. I can just bring up the results down here. 
And now we can see we have the province information along with the amount of individuals that we sold to in a given year. Now in the past, we could use this relational data that we had and infer or calculate further details about our customers. But now with sensors in the Internet of Things, in this example, and online consensus information on our customers, we can better understand who exactly they are, and this can allow our salesmen and marketing teams to quickly act on this data and alter how they run promotions on target customers in specific regions of China. So let's go ahead and access the data gathered from our online application stored in our Azure blob. Now as I mentioned, we must first create an external data source. Here, we call it Polybase Demo, and our location is our Azure blob container. So we can go ahead and run this. Now if we check here in external data sources, after we refresh, we should see Polybase Demo. Next, we need to set up our external file location. For this demo, I know the file in the Azure blob container is a CSV file, so I can go ahead and run this comma delimited query. If we go to external file format and click refresh, we should be able to see CSV format here. Lastly, we need an external table. So let's scroll down here. I will call this in-depth consensus and ensure that the location, data source, and file format are all correct so that I can run this query. So we see here we have the location, data source is polybase demo, and file format is CSV format. So I can go ahead and run this query. Now if I check under external tables after clicking refresh, in-depth consensus should be there. So let's go ahead and see what that data looks like. Run this select statement here. So we see here we have additional information such as median age, total males and females, male percentage, female percentage, and average household size for each region. So now that we see the data coming through, let's join this data with our relational data to fully utilize polybase functionality. So for this demo, I'm interested in a particular region in China. And to gather further insights on my relational data, I can run a select join statement that I have below. So let's go to that. As we can see here, I'm joining my sales population along with province to the median age, male percentage, and female percentage in our Azure blob container. We can also see that they're joined on a common key here. So let's go ahead and run this statement. Now I can see that the population for the specific province, along with the up-to-date key statistics like female percentage, male percentage, and median age, are gathered in the Azure blob. And with this information, our marketing team and sales departments can now be better informed when they look to target that specific region for the next promotion. We at Thoroughgood hope you enjoyed learning about the latest SQL and Polybase offerings. If you have any questions or are interested in learning more about Polybase and how it can benefit your organization, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any of my colleagues. My contact information is shown here. I encourage you to visit us at thoroughgood.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn all about our upcoming marketing events. Thank you for watching.